Welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well. It's time for the preview ahead of Game Week 14. As always, in this series, we cover all the key information you need each game week to ensure you arrive at better decisions. This includes the goal scorer odds, clean sheet odds, transfer trends, captaincy poll, and more. If you want to up your FPL game this season, click the link below to join Fantasy Football Scouts members area. Essential tools such as the season ticker, player comparison, custom data tables and more which will help you improve your game. I'm a member myself and I can't recommend it enough. If you are interested, click the link below which supports the channel too. So starting with the game week 14, anytime goal scorer odds. And top is Haaland, who's been given a 56.5% chance of scoring any time against Leicester. He was withdrawn at half time in the Champions League on Wednesday. Post-match, Pep was asked if it's serious and he said, I don't know, I don't know right now, we'll definitely assess it on Wednesday. And I spoke with the medical staff at half-time and they were a little bit concerned, but I saw him walk in, more or less quite good. He was also reportedly taken off of a fever, so potentially a couple of issues at play. We hope to get clarification near the deadline on his availability. Jesus and Salah retired with a 47% chance this game week. Jesus perhaps being overlooked this game week, with many managers even selling him. Now an attacking returns this season, and home to Forest, which is about as good as fixtures come. If Haaland does miss game week 14, then there's big decisions to make for many with captaincy. Salah has been a frustration for owners, though home to Leeds is also an extremely good fixture. Kane's another option, and he's got 42.5% chance of scoring any time. Neto has had a big impact since joining Bournemouth, and he was withdrawn at half-time last match, and if he is out for Gaming 14, he'll be a huge miss, which might spell success for Kane and Son owners. Saka and Martinelli both have a 35.5% chance of scoring. If he doubled up, it looks like a very good position to be in this game week. Tony's home to Wolves this game week, and he has a 35.5% chance too. Onto the clean sheet odds, and top this game week is Arsenal with a 52% chance against Forest. This season, Forest 12.5 expected goals ranks 4th worst in the league, and their 8 goals scored ranks 2nd worst. City have a 43% chance away to Leicester. As well as Haaland, Pep also said that Cancelo had a bit of a fever, and those were the two players who were withdrawn at half time. Hopefully, nothing serious, with Cancelo the second most owned defender after Trippier. Newcastle have been given a 36% chance of a clean sheet themselves, home to Aston Villa. No, Unai Emery for this match in the Villa dugout, he takes charge from Gaming 15 onwards. Crystal Palace have a 36% chance too, up against Southampton, whose 10.8 xG is second worst this season, only Bournemouth have fared worse. Since largest sacking, the only points Wolves have picked up was against Nottingham Forest, and this game they're away to Brentford and given a 25% chance. Rock bottom this game is a three-way tie, with Forest, Leeds and Leicester all with an 8.5% chance of a clean sheet. Forest away to Arsenal, Leeds away to Liverpool and Leicester home to Man City. Onto the Gamic 14 top projections and Salah tops the projections with 7.9 points for the Leeds match. He has been a frustrating pick for a lot of the season and not represented the 12.8 mil price tag, but it's an excellent fixture and he's absolutely still capable of return here. If Haaland does miss out this weekend, the captaincy will be a really interesting one. Let me know in the comments who your captain would be if it's not Haaland. Mitrovic is the only player on the top projections this gaming outside of Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal or Spurs, with the FBL review algorithm heavily favouring the big sides. Gabriel and Trent, the only two defenders to make the top projections this week, Gabriel with 5.3 and Trent with 5.2. This season, Gabriel is actually top among all defenders for expected goals. Trent was disappointingly benched last match, but it could point towards a start this game week, so it's worth a hold if you've got him. In game week 15, things get interesting when Liverpool face Spurs, Arsenal face Chelsea, and Mitrovic faces Man City. We've all got players concerned there. Let's have a look at the transfer activity next and starting with the most transferred in players. It's Almer and comfortably top with over half a million transfers in. He really is having a remarkable season with 67 points so far, 6 goals scored and only De Bruyne has more points among midfielders. His previous best scoring season was with 4 goals which he matched by Gamic 10. Finally looking like the player they'd hoped he'd be when they signed him and a bargain for 5.4 mil. It is De Bruyne's second who scored a wonderful goal last game to put him on 2 goals and 9 assists for the season. Trossard was the most transferred in player back in Gaming 12, the most sold in Gaming 13, and now he's the third most bought heading into Gaming 14. Perhaps not the week to buy him up against Chelsea, but he did prove many of us wrong scoring against the Resolute Man City team last game week. Brighton's final two games before the World Cup are Wolves and Villa, which might be the time to get him. Foden's mention hasn't deterred managers, with over 150,000 managers transferring him in. He played 18 minutes in the Champions League after being benched last weekend. Pep is big on player rhythm, so the 80 minutes he played, perhaps a run out ahead of a start on the weekend away to Leicester. Trip is now approaching 5.9 mil and he's having a special season himself. One to strongly consider if we still don't own him, and as his ownership continues to creep up, there's increased potential to do damage to you if he does return. 
A couple of Arsenal assets make the top transfers out of that favourable Forest fixture with Saliba and Saka heavily transferred into. On to the most transferred out players and this one's an interesting one, it's Salah Tov. As much as he's hurt owners this season, there is a fair argument to give him one more game week. After all, it is Leeds at home and he's not suddenly a terrible footballer. We've seen flashes of what he's capable of this season. However, if you're not tripping up in Man City, it is an understandable one to sell him for De Bruyne. He was arrested midweek entirely. James continues to be heavily sold, not expected back before the World Cup. Jace is heavily sold too, but again, it doesn't seem like the week to make such a transfer before Forrest at home. Surprisingly, Foden is also among the most sold. Some uncertainty surrounding him, it seems. He's in the same boat as Jesus and Salah, where it seems logical not to sell now, and in Foden's case, his fixtures are great for the final three, so it should be an easy hold if anything. We'll finish the preview up with the captain poll results. Thanks to everyone who voted on the poll on the Discord, as always. The results are in the R as follows. It's Haaland top with 83% of the vote. Depending on the news ahead of the deadline, you feel this could move either way. If he's confirmed fully fit and available, perhaps a few cold feet move back to Haaland. Failing that is Salah second with 6.8% and Kane third with 4.8%. Beyond that, a few votes for De Bruyne, Foden, Saka and Son. 2.8% voted for other this game week. And that wraps up the Game Week 14 episode of the preview. Thanks for watching. I'll read every comment, so drop one below. I'm always keen to hear your thoughts. Tomorrow's video will be the last one and it'll be the experts before the deadline. See you soon for the next one.